Good morning. Okay, got another request for you today. This one was to see the Megas XLR uh, against, well, several chumps that were around, so I'll just take that to mean uh, the Death Egg, um, uh, Crossback, and the Cardboard. But uh, yeah, so I was specifically asked not to change some stuff about the Megas. I changed some stuff about the Megas. Okay, so a couple things. First off, instead of rockets, it's got friggin' napalm, so it needs napalm. So, now it's got napalm. Uh, they didn't look like napalm rockets on the other one. It was a little hard to tell from the video, but I believe that was that. Um, uh, the handguns, I replaced uh, it. Okay, so, uh, looking over, like, double-checking over its wiki page, because it seemed to just basically pull weapons out of its rear whenever it needed to, but, um... There was specifically a laser sword, there was specifically a giant laser cannon, so you know what? Uh, replaced, uh, replaced the, uh, handgun, the, uh, hanger handguns with, uh, the dagger blade and the, uh, orc. And then, yeah, kept the fingers because that's really fitting, and it's also got the, like, hand flamethrower thing going on. And, uh, then the last thing was just to change the color scheme a little bit, because, well, I wanted to get that, some of that, um, like, yellow fire type paint job going on. But yeah. Um, if for some reason anyone watching this doesn't remember what the Megas is, um, which by the way, I tried to match the paint as much as I could. It, there wasn't exactly a, a complete one-to-one -one in some cases. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, Cow is, uh, uh, Cow is the one that put together this build to start with. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he had used some different patterns and things like that. I, I went for a more, um, how do I, how do I put it, egregious look. But, uh, but yeah, you know, some of the stuff's a little bit off, like the feet are supposed to be black while the area above it's blue. In this case, I couldn't right quite get the blue on the legs working without getting the black in the middle instead, but either way, it, you know, it, it's freaking close enough. But, uh, but yeah, I kept all the AI the same, I, um, I kept its preferences the same, its tendencies, all that. So, that's all good. Uh, its insides are only slightly changed, um... Uh, just because of part availability, but that's not really going to change anything. All of its stuff still works. And, uh, alright, let's get this crap show going. Got the, uh, the XLR music in the back. This is basically, uh, I think this was the, uh, old credits theme. Um, it was called Short Hairs. And actually, I, <laughs> I was really tempted to put together Regis for this one. But, uh, I couldn't quite figure out how to make that work. Yeah, he doesn't have a radar, he's specifically made to be derpy sometimes. And, uh, by the way, I changed uh, some of the, uh, some of the colors around on the core as well. I, I basically I wanted to get those, uh, red taillights in the back, so there we go. Get some red taillights in the back. Um, they're, they're not exactly where they need to be, but screw it, it's close enough. And, uh, courtesy of the Napalm Rockets, he's pretty friggin' amazing. Unfortunately, I can't make him do any wrestling moves or whatever else, but I'm... Pretty sure the death egg is toast. Let me turn into a death omelette, but let's let's see. Who knows? You know what? Maybe Ivo here will pull it around. Oh man, you massively, massively clunky, derpy uh, AIs here. So I was really tempted. I was go going back and forth because um. Apparently he uses both EMPs and, um, and napalm on the inside and everything. I think like half his weapons could be inside parts for AC. But I could only pick one, so I went with napalm rockets. Um, you know, I think it turned out pretty darn good. Again, sorry to directly break the, break the word there, but dang it. Needed, uh, needed to make it happen. Guy needed his laser sword, alright? Oh crap, the Death Egg's pulling it back. Oh, come on! Oh man, okay. Oh man, this is freaking close. Hell, I'm not just leaving against the freaking uh, Death Egg. This is awesome. No! It's so close! Oh well, then he'll just go and blot out the sun and. I guess shut down the death egg. Ah, uh, that thing can work in space, maybe not. Whatever. Anyway, best two out of three against the chump squad, as it were. I like limiting it to three, so... No, whatever. We're gonna do three out of five against the death egg, and then just... Call it. 
against the death egg, and then I'll just add um, add a cross back and uh, cardboard fight at the end, just to see how it does. How about that? And if you're wondering about the whole it uh, runs itself in the charging thing, yeah, that, that's just another part of it. Well, intentionally doing that. Um, because it doesn't use energy weapons, it would be theoretically possible to make it never overcharge, but no. And that's part of its AI tendencies right now. Got about a 40% chance uh, to run itself into, uh, into charging, give or take. Um, as I understand it, it's just more like a series of different odds uh, as far as how smart or dumb the AI is. So, uh, yeah, in this case, uh, it's set to about 60%. Now, that 40% number may basically just pulled out of my rear here, but more or less, that's what it boils down to. Like, it has that much of a chance to just completely ignore its energy and run itself into charging. Which seems fitting. You know what? It's not the smartest guy. Well, I mean, that's the weird thing, isn't it? It managed to put together a gigantic friggin' machine, but it seems otherwise a bit of a dolt. Oh, well. liking this matchup a lot. <laughs> so, I mentioned this last time too, but if you've got any old, like, friggin' giant mechs from your childhood you want to see made together in this, man, they have been... they've been fun. Like, they've probably put together some of the more interesting fights, so if you've got some dumb crap for me to make, I'll make it. Man, he's really getting him with those mines, jeez. Been in a straight-up blade fight. Oh, crap, nice. <laughs> Look, he's even doing his pose. <laughs> it's like the game new. <laughs> I love it. Alright, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Camera angle. Holy crap. I'm laying into him here. Like, here, have it. Just freaking everything I have. And I'll stare into the abyss for a while. You know. As you do. As you do. Now, this would be a great time for you to probably put away your guns and pull out that blade thingy. You know, here, those are pretty cool. Ow! Why are you biting me, cat? I'm gonna pet you. How does the cat always know? Like, he literally does not give a crap that I exist uh, like, other than food. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I turn OBS on, he's like, yep, I'm here. Oof. Alright, Death Egg, you clunky bastard. I don't think you can win it now. Yes, there we go. Alright, so two for the Magus. It's, yeah, I, I really think this has to go to Magus. It just all depends on how, uh... Uh, how well the uh, death egg can get in the close range. Right, mushroom base for the probably the last fight. Okay, yeah, now he's ripping him a new one. Freaking turning him into a scrambled egg. No, the more that I look at this picture, I keep thinking... 
it's, a, it's weird because this is pretty much the perfect core, but I keep looking at the front uh, part of it. Dang it. Aren't there any flat ones that have those wings on the back? And I, like, I keep thinking that there's one in F.A. that I believe had that sort of thing going on. I'm, I can't remember if it was flat in the front or not. Okay. Never mind. Robotnik's running away. <laughs> like, no, screw this. Oh, crap. Man. Egged him. Fitting. I think he tried to slash him and activated the blade, but it didn't even have enough to trigger the animation. Are you gonna finish him with the blade? No. Alright, there we go. So Magus takes it. Now, you want to see against the uh, quote unquote other chumps, so let's go give them a little bit of a look see here. So, first things first uh, Lord of the Chumps, uh, Mr. Crossback over here. See how he does. I was really tempted to do one thing differently with that head there, which was just to, um, to change the detail color to white, but then it wound up with like the wound up with the lights on top for some reason. So I just sort of made the front a little yellowish, so it'd be sort of like headlights. I think it turned out right. I think um I think the one Cow put together might have been before uh, before the fire paint job or something. Actually, no, 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 no. He had the um, had the camouflage like um, sort of caution pattern thing going on on the details. I just remembered. No, he had it on there. It was just uh, less egregious. To be fair, it probably is way more yellow than it shows on the video. Oh. Yeah. Wow, okay. Crossback might win it, actually. And the Trumps, I mean, no, he's the best in humanity. What, what, what can I say? Yeah, no, it's just it's amazing. Yep. Crossback's just the king here. is invincible. Crossback is the most uninvincible. Oh, whoops. I gotta get that soundtrack going again. Nice. Nice! Okay, that was awesome. It was a hell of a finish. Alright, and... Yeah, let's finish off the cardboard, I think. There's no way the cardboard can win it, but what the hell, why not? You know what? Cow's request, cow's AC, whatever. <laughs> <sighs> uh. <clears throat> wow, this one's so choppy. I don't know why it's being all choppy all of a sudden. I think Chrome's, uh, friggin' uh, dumping again. Whoa. Okay. Apparently he decided to leave. Just had a discount on the Slurpees or something. Yeah, let's give that another go. So that is a weird glitch of the AI on this map specifically. So, like, for example, the hangar has that Goomba Stomp thing where somebody can just be deleted out of existence if they land on top of them. This one has a thing where the AI will occasionally just decide to fly straight into the sky. It looks awesome when it happens, but it's... I mean, they just fly straight up. I don't... Oh, I have no idea. We'll assume the first time he was being merciful, but then he was forced to go fight this guy. Who would think that whatever happened to Megas? Did they end the show, or...? Oh, I still don't know why it's being choppy. Um, oh yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Probably look it up. 
I'm curious if they ended the show or if it uh, like got canceled one day or what. Cause I know they had a lot of uh, a lot of things where they canceled a lot of the cooler shows. And they used to have a, have a lot of mech shows. Actually, one of the ones that got requested was uh, Big O. Uh, I'm not really sure how to translate some of the ones from Zoids or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Are there a mech in Thundercats? Friggin... Hell, I remember like three different Gundam shows I can never keep track of. But, either way. Let me know if you want to see any of them made. Again, hopefully with less choppy music. But, um, but yeah, see you at that point. <laughs>